Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Saints' struggles have been well chronicled. This season, last season, even to an extent, 2021. Before that, they enjoyed the, the greatest era in the history of their franchise. And it changed expectations. A lot. I don't have to tell you that. You, you know it. What you've seen, though, is with this current era and a lot of losing, missing the playoffs, Times aren't as fun to answer questions, and the questions are getting harder. Even though, I should say the questions are getting harder to answer. The questions themselves really aren't changing. And a lot of those, because people want change, a lot of those questions have been directed at Saints GM Mickey Loomis. And on... Multiple occasions now, the answers given by Mickey Loomis have not been satisfactory to, to many. And I, we can go back to the, the question about the booze in the Superdome, about Saints season ticket holders selling their tickets and the Lions fans taking over the lower bowl of the Dome. And, you know, Mickey Loomis giving a, an answer about, oh, you know, yeah, I don't have, you know, I, I understand that I don't have to like it and cited high ticket prices and the economy for the reason why, not the poor performance of the team. That was not well received. There was, when he was asked about buy in from the team and if they'd quit and he called that lazy journalism, that was not well received. And the latest installment comes in reference to the quarterback position. In New Orleans, where obviously, look, it's been a struggle. And Derek Carr has not met the expectations that come with a $150 million contract. And because of that, I don't want to say totally because of that, in part because of that, the Saints team has not met expectation. So, when Mickey Loomis was on with Mike Hoss and Bobby Abair, he was flat, point blank asked, do you draft a quarterback? You're asking me to speculate about the future and we're in the middle of the season. I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a silly what if exercise, so I'm, I'm not even going to go down that path. Started out really well. I mean, I can understand middle of the season type thing. You, know, you haven't even been eliminated from the playoff contention. The, the part that begins to have that not be well received is when you call it a silly exercise – and a silly question because it's, it's, it's not and that you're not even going to go down that path. Would you better? I'm not saying you have to draft a quarterback. I'm not saying they're not even considering it. I'm saying to scoff at that notion right now is irresponsible in my opinion because it's a question that's absolutely warranted and it's a question that's not new. You're going to get asked about that all the time. And when you do, there's always been pretty much a by-the-book answer that the Saints have given. I'm not sitting here telling you that I wanted Mickey Loomis to divulge draft strategy and what they're going to do because he's never going to do that, and nor should he, and that's not what I'm after. But to call it silly, well, that's silly. This question goes back to when Drew Brees' career is wrapping up, are, are you going to draft a quarterback here? Is it time to find the heir apparent, the next in line to replace Drew Brees? Are you going to do that during the draft? And the answer, by the way, no matter when it was asked, midseason, owners meetings, pre-draft, post-draft, when you still have the, you know, at that when they meet after the first round and you still have the rest of it, 
no matter when that question was asked then, it was kind of always met with the same answer. Well, yeah, we hope Drew plays as long as he can and, and we don't have to go down that road. But it, everything's under consideration when, when you go through a process like this. That's satisfactory. But it's also easier to give that answer when you have a Hall of Fame quarterback, Super Bowl champion, and you're in the midst of a stretch where you have the best winning percentage in the last five years in the NFL, and you don't have that right now. But again, to say that it's a silly what-if exercise, it's not, it's not a what-if exercise. It, it, is, it is something that needs to be addressed if you're the New Orleans Saints. Because since Drew Brees, and I'm not sitting here saying that's an easy thing to do, replace the greatest quarterback in the history of the franchise and one of the best quarterbacks that's ever played the game. But unstable doesn't even describe your quarterback situation since Drew left and retired. You thought you had the unlock with Jameis Winston, and look, it, it looked good early on in that year in 2021 where you're 5-2, and two, he gets injured, and since then... You haven't been close to finding an answer. You went through four quarterbacks that year. You know, okay, thought maybe Taysom, no. Trevor Simeon, no. You'll get Andy Dalton to be Jameis Winston's backup. Winston gets hurt. I don't need to rehash the entire history. Well, Dalton clearly wasn't going to be the answer. And they wouldn't go back to Jameis Winston last, last season. You go free agent, you get Derek Carr, veteran, 10th year in the league, $150 million contract. That hasn't worked out. And the sample size is big enough throughout his whole career for you to know that it's probably not going to work out. What you've done in trying to replace Drew Brees is do it through free agency because you want to hold on to what the Saints were. I'm not the first person to tell you that. That has been a conversation that has been had plenty since Sean Payton retired and then subsequently unretired and went and coached the Denver Broncos. The one thing you haven't done is try to draft your future in the first round. And it's something the Saints haven't done in their history one time. We know it. It's Archie Manning. But you've gone the free agent route now in a couple different off seasons and it hasn't worked. Maybe it's time to do the thing that you haven't done. And that's why it's not a silly what if. It's not a silly question. It's a warranted question. Because you have to have elite quarterback play to go somewhere in this league. And you don't have it. And quite honestly, you haven't had it. Even going back to the last few years of Drew Brees. But you could get by with a great defense and, and skilled position players around. Now all those people are aging. I get it. It's hard to let go. It's, it's really hard to let go. And Mickey Loomis has been with the Saints a long time. He's been a member of that front office since, since 2000. He's been the GM since 2002. He has seen the lows. He has seen literally the highest point of the franchise and helped build that and orchestrate it. But it's probably time to take a different angle at doing that. And again, that's why people aren't going to receive that well when you scoff at the notion, even though it's mid-season and call it a silly exercise that a path you're not even going to go down. Because that path, kind of need to go down it. We'll see if they do. Um, until that, the questions are only going to persist. And there's not really a great time for them ever. But there, there can be a great answer. Even if it is just, look, we're in the middle of the season. Everything's being evaluated. That's a process we constantly go through. We'll continue in our process and make our decision. Because expectations have changed. And that's a good thing. But it is hard to let go. Sometimes you're forced to. We'll see if that time is coming for the New Orleans Saints. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.